Hello and welcome back to another unboxing. So for today, we're going to unbox Inuyasha Nendoroid number 1300. So if you haven't watched on my channel, do check out my other Nendoroid unboxing videos. I also have other Inuyasha Nendoroids that has been unboxed in the past so do check them out so let us unbox this one so like the other Inuyasha Androids um, we have the top part and we have this neat bottom part. I say neat because the base doesn't come in a Plastic that is actually usually taped at the bottom and it's hard to remove this one is on It's a separate clamshell. So let us check out this one So the parts here is we have the base Surpri surprisingly this stand is on a plastic and the extra neck joint that comes with it for each of the nendoroids so here is the stand then we have a couple of arms to be used one that has a slot to hold the sword extra arms extra hands so yeah let's check out the other ones so we got here the Inuyasha character himself the base body so we can see he has a big plastic covering him and we need to remove this front part here which is very big and a bit heavy to remove this face shield or set I call and this whole plastic is actually a bit connected and let's just remove this one so we can see him clearly okay so Inuyasha since we saw him that he has many arms and hands this part would not be articulated but this part in the shoulder is articulated the feet uh, yeah you can put put them up and down and he has bare feet so yeah that's the main thing for the extra parts we have two face plates so one in attack mode and one in a curious confused face I guess then this is what I love about this Android is he has this sitting or kneeling part. No, no, it's just more of sitting part. Then we just have an extra leg. Then you remove this then put the feet. Maybe if this is for action poses. We also have his sword, this big sword. And we have another extra part at least the last one so this is how his sword looks like when it's still on his side before he wields it let us try his parts so first one let's make a an attack type or attack pose so let's just remove the face plate change it with this one then put back the hair and get that arm with with the already holding or at least 
wielding the sword or at least a hand that is supposed to have the sword wielded so this should go come in here yep that goes in smoothly okay then we need to put this here sword sheath so yeah let me just not put that put it there then that's how it looks like in an action pose i'll try to put the stand as well so of course since this is the first time that we're using this nendoroid it's a bit hard to put the stand so there so that's him that's how he, he is in an action pose next we try uh, him sitting so let us just remove this sword sword hand okay then maybe let us remove his lower part this one then put this one of course since he's sitting it's better to remove him from the stand then change the faceplate so let's just put him back all together then get a random hand I guess I'm not sure if this is correct but yeah, I mean that I think that is what is what he looks like when sitting. Doesn't need a stand, I guess, because the hair is enough and this feet is stable. So yeah, that's Inuyasha. So for the price of this Nendoroid, so as usual, standard price is forty dollars. But this Nendoroid, I got this for only thirty dollars. This Nendoroid is a bit older than the other characters in Inuyasha as far as I know this Nendoroid was the first one to be released for this line but I was lucky enough to for a seller from Shopee to sell it at a low price he has a voucher there and I added some coins so I had it down to just $30 or 1,500 pesos final thoughts I really like the Nendoroid of course first and foremost because of the packaging they have a separate clamshell for the base and other parts and for the parts um, you can see there are a lot of reds so that means Inesha has a lot of parts a lot of arms a this is the standard feet and he has this feet that is he's sitting and face plates are good his hair is very big and he also his sword is of course is it's big and it's easy to use and wield then he has this sheath sword in a sheath so be careful with that because this is very fragile then overall also the the face plates are good um the this face plate this normal this action part and this normal one and also i'm glad that there weren't any paint transfers in the face plate from the hair i had that with kogome and kikyo but for this one it, it didn't have have any paint transfer so that that's good so yeah that's my final thoughts i like the nendoroid and i hope you like it too or at least if you get one you're gonna love it so yeah thank you very much for watching and i hope you subscribe to my channel like and comment your thoughts on this video and watch my other inuyasha and droids unboxing